Let me start this video by saying I was prompted to do this video by YouTube user V Westlife. He made a video about counterfeit Sony power adapters and batteries uh, quite recently, and I thought I would make this video, which I was actually meaning to make quite some months ago, but completely forgot. Um, these here are two Apple laptop chargers. However, one of them is real, and one of them is quite fake. Uh, this being the real and this being the fake, I'll point that out right away. Um, but I wanted to go over a couple of things, and then I'm going to do the uh, AM radio interference test, which I've actually never done with these, but I'll talk about some other interference problems. Um, when I bought my MacBook Pro about, I don't know, four or five, six months ago, I don't remember the exact day, I'll have to look it up, um, I was given this fake power charger. I was also given a fake battery. Uh, which is still in my computer because it works perfectly. This kind of works perfectly. The battery is decent. It holds probably about half the charge of a real battery, but it still works perfectly fine. And I don't feel that my computer is in much danger. Um, I will be replacing it, though. The seller said that it came with a brand new battery and charger. Well, it did, but they were fake. So here's the fake, and here's a real brand new one that I bought afterwards. You can see the first thing is that it's missing the Apple logo off the side. There's no Apple logos on it anywhere. The other end does have the trademark MagSafe adapter, although it's not as good, I don't think, and the cable is certainly of not as high quality as it's already broken. You can see I've put some black electrical tape on here because the cable has just started tearing right here. The shielding has just come off the wires, so you can see what kind of quality they're using there. It did have one interesting thing. It had this little MagSafe cover, which it, the actual Apple cables don't have, but seems kind of pointless to me. I'm now looking at the safety information on the real Apple charger. You can see UL Japan, Apple Japan. It's got the safety mark logo, just like the Sony things, uh, the chargers from Sony. The uh, please do not throw away or recycle symbol. The UL, the GS, the check mark for EU safety, the CE logo, uh, UL listed, all of the information about what it is. It's a Delta Electronics. Delta are very good power supplies. I actually have a Delta power supply big box one in my desktop PC. So here it is. I'd also like to point out the prongs on it here. How nicely they click in and out. They click out and then they pop back. And a nice spring, you can see there. So I'm going to try to switch over to the fake power adapter here. Notice it's actually on a different side. This information is on the bottom, and this one's on the front. Um, so I have to hold it funny, because the cable's resting on the floor. But we're going to go ahead and look right in here. And you notice the CE is literally just a CE, just printed on. That's not a logo, that's just CE. 60 watt, it says. That is a complete lie, because that is a 60 watt charger, and that will run my computer without the battery in, and this won't, uh, because the MacBook will not start because it's not getting enough power. So, yeah, this is not a 60 watt charger. I don't know how many watt this is, but it's not 60 watt, because it won't start my computer without the battery in. Um, it will charge the battery, but it will not run the computer, because it's not powerful enough. Um, you can see here, it says, it says it may not cause harmful interference, made in China, first com, now what's that house logo, I don't think this one has that, nope, but I'd like to point out this one's plug here, notice the fact it doesn't really fit properly, so here's the licensed Apple one, and here is the fake. You notice it's a different color of plastic, too. This is sort of an off-white color. Um, you can see the difference. This is a very white plastic. This is kind of a gray. It's not really that brilliant. Um, this is a much brighter white. But as you can see, it doesn't fit. Like, you can see my finger it just hits it there. It's not flush on any side. And here's the biggest thing. This is how it came from brand new it's broken these 
This is obviously broken. I'm going to remove this here, if I can do that with one hand. Okay, I've removed it, and you can see they just sort of fall out, like... And it... It rattles. Once again. Yeah, that's... That's not good. I would also like to point out the information on the back of both of these power plugs. This one is the fake, and it says D Well Shine PJ, and it has a UR there, which is extremely thin and not very nice. You know, it's very, very thin printing on there, and it says China. And here's the licensed one. It says Volex, which is a very good cable company. Volex Jet, and it has the official UR. Notice how much thicker that is than that one there. It's got an actual part number stamped into the inside there. It's got a Volex thing, 125 volts, 2.5 amps. Volex APC7D, and a real Volex logo. No cheap printing. And this, remember, is the one here that's falling apart. Okay, I've got my MacBook here, and I have the fake charger plugged into a wall plug here. You can see no logo on there, and it's the other thing. I'm going to connect it up here. I'll show you my MacBook won't start with this cord, so... Nothing. Okay, now I have the licensed Apple charger. You see the Apple logo there and all the actual, real, you know, safety marks on the bottom. I'll go ahead and I'll connect my wall adapter. And this is still with the battery removed, remember, from my MacBook. Got the not frayed broken charger. I'm going to plug that in. And... What do you know? It works. The reason for this, as I mentioned earlier, is the other one, the fake one, is clearly not 60 watts. Um, this MacBook can use anywhere between a 60 to an 80 watt charger, and no lower, otherwise the machine will not let itself start. Um, this is a, says it is a 60 watt, I don't think it is, uh, it, uh, I know it isn't, because the MacBook will not start with this connected. Well, I've got my AM radio here, it's a Sony Dream Machine, and here's the antenna right here, this little wire. And I've got my power cords and my MacBook here open, so when I connect them, it should start charging because the battery's at 87% full. So I'll just turn up the volume here a little bit. Guaranteed. One more way. Service is our best. And I will connect. And I will connect the fake charger here. I'm making sure I can see this. Like that. And I will connect it to my MacBook and see what happens. And it just kicked into charge mode. You can hear. And then I'll disconnect it. From Indiana coach Tom Crean. And actually, that's just running the computer um, on battery. That's just uh, supplying power. That's not even um, charging the battery. So I'm assuming that would be much worse at that because it's just popped up to 100% battery now that I've had it on. So I'll go ahead and connect my licensed Apple charger here. Nothing. No static, no interference. 
dice them up potentially on the offensive end. Dodgers lefty Clayton Kershaw is on the disabled list for the first time in his seven-year career. Kershaw has a... You can see that. No interference from the licensed charger. Now, I was very interested to do that because I've never actually done this kind of thing with a power charger before. But um, I noticed one thing when I was using this. Um, inside Apple's Mighty Mouse mice, they have a little piezo beeper inside which um, actuates, it basically gives you click feedback because the switch inside the mouse is a very very faint click, there's n almost no click to it, so when you click it the piezo buzzer makes a tiny noise for some feedback that you've clicked the button. Um, when this power charger, the fake one, was plugged in, it caused so much interference that that piezo buzzer went crazy. It went like constantly, constantly. It also caused the keyboard backlights to flicker and the screen backlight to flicker. That's how bad the power filtering is in this. I also want to point out the fact that this fake charger weighs nothing. It's, it's feather light. It feels like there's nothing in it. This one's got a decent weight to it. It's nice and heavy. You can hear by how hard it drops. This one, nothing. It's, it's so unbelievably light. I don't know what they build these things out of, like, cardboard? Well, that's my video response to V West Life's fake Sony camera charger video. Um, I guess this will just serve as a message, I hope, to people who are looking to buy new power cords or batteries for their computers. Um, don't buy fake stuff. It's bad. Um, it will break your computer. Um, the power filtering in this is so bad, it makes the power filtering circuits in my computer have to work overtime, and the entire charging circuit side of my computer, which is in behind the speaker here, gets very hot if I use this charger. Uh, this charger also gets so hot, I'm afraid the plastic is going to melt. It starts to smell. That's how hot it gets. So, just don't buy fake chargers. Seriously. You'll end up breaking your devices just because you're a cheapskate.